All right, in the previous chapter, you saw screen flows for Slack in action. Let's talk about how that gets built and configured. You create your screen flow, and then you mark it as available for Slack. So let's go, let's go look at that. That's here, it's right now it's in the advanced settings right here. Checking this box does two main things. One's really visible right here in screens. It filters this list of screen components down to the set of things that we currently support when we're running a screen flow in Slack. The second thing that happens is when you save this flow for the first time, it generates a dispatch action. That's what this action is right here. This is an action that was generated. You can see it's flow for Slack demo beta action. So it's got the same name, flow for Slack demo, as this screen flow. And if we were to look at our actions and filter on send message to, what you'll see here is there are eight different dispatch actions that correspond to eight different screen flows on this org that have all been had that checkbox checked. And right now, this is the only way to get a screen flow to run in Slack. There'll be other, other ways like you'll be able to create a shortcut so that right from Slack, you can initiate a screen flow. But right now, the, pa the paradigm is create the screen flow, generate the dispatch action, use the dispatch action in some sort of flow, maybe a flow that triggers off of a record change. And then from within Slack, someone can launch uh, and run the screen flow.